Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So welcome to a brand new series in Laravel REST API. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over the structure of the series so the guys will know what to expect and prepare for that. And also I will, at the end of the video, I'll kind of show you what we're going to be building. Okay, so let's start off with the first one. We're going to start off with theory in the beginning and then we're going to actually find out what is an API and what is a REST, and what is HTTP and HTTP status got. So I'll let you kind of know what we're going to do, but I'm only going to deal with the codes and everything that we're going to deal in this course, okay? So then what we're going to do is then we're going to install and actually build out the API, and optional, and we're going to write some tests, all right? The next thing that we can, tools that we will need is we will need Visual Studio Code, Okay, for client testing, we're going to need Postman, or you can use Insomnia, or you can use any other tools that you like. Okay, but we, for the client side, we're going to use Postman. So if you guys want to do that, you can. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we, for authentication, we're going to use Laravel Sanctum. And for the API scaffolding, we're going to use Laravel Breeze. Okay, and the prerequisites, um, please, I'll just have to have like a basic knowledge about Laravel. You don't need to be an expert, just what Laravel is. And obviously a code editor and some patience because I'm going to explain a lot of things during the course. So if my videos will be a bit longer because I want you guys to understand the concepts and everything like that. All right. So let me quickly show you a code example of what we're going to be building. So let's do that. All right, so I'm showing this in the browser because some people might not be used to Postman and I haven't explained it yet. So this is kind of a return of all the articles. So as you can see, we're returning a list of articles. So this is what we were building. So as you can see, the type is an article with an ID and its attributes, the title and the slug. And in relationships is the author and it's the people right there. Let me just zoom in a little bit. And the, the author has got its own link. So inside there, we can actually go to the author and then we've got links basically for the article. We've got one for basically with an ID and the other one with a slug. So this is the kind of implementation that we will do. So we can go to the same article either through the ID or through the slug. Okay. So that's basically what we will do. So let's quickly go to the authors one. All right. So if we click the link, you will actually go to the time. And you in this case, John Doe, and obviously the author's link right there. Okay. And obviously, as you can see, if we click on this one, we will go to the article. All right. So as you can see, we add the article with its title and slug, and obviously the author. Or we can click on the slug right here. So let's quickly click on the slug. So if we go there, we can still get to the same article. All right. So that's kind of what we will be building in this episode, a full CRUD application. So then after all of this, we will implement either the front end client with Next.js. We're going to start actually with Next.js or Nux.js and then go on from there. All right. So that's kind of the intro to this series. So if you think this is worth your while, please stay around for the next one. And if you like it, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. And adios.